Uh, one day when I was Eastman professor at Oxford in the spring of 1948 to uh, April 1948, I caught a cold. It was before the vitamin C days. I caught a cold and uh, after a day or two in bed uh, reading science fiction and detective stories, I got tired of that and I thought, uh, why don't I discover the Alpha Helix, or <laughs> a thought something like that. Why don't I try to see if I can find how polypeptide chains are folded uh, in a way compatible with all the knowledge that we have about structural chemistry and such that they can form hydrogen bonds to hold uh, the parts of the molecule together. I uh, took a piece of paper much like this piece, and I drew on it uh, a representation of an extended polypeptide chain uh, with the distances approximately right and the angles right, except that one angle does not have, did not have the right uh, value. I still have that original piece of paper, by the way. This is the bond angle at the alpha carbon atom that didn't have the right value. So I folded the paper, actually it took several trials, I folded it along several parallel lines through the successive alpha carbon atoms. And finally I found a way, uh, by folding the paper I could make this bond angle have the value 110 degrees, and I finally found a way of folding such that when I put it together, uh, there was a NHCO bond formed by each NH group and each CO group, a hydrogen bond which held the uh, helical structure together and had just the right dimensions. I found that uh, this structure, which turned out, of course, to be the uh, of hair and horn and fingernail and muscle and also present in myoglobin and hemoglobin and other globular proteins, the structure named the alpha helix, uh, had three and six tenths residues per turn of the helix, a helical structure in which there are three and six tenths residues per turn.